going back to the data set, we can click on Analyze. And let's click on Descriptive Statistics and click on Explore. And um, in Explore, just let me, I'll, I'll show you how we did this, how we um, did this part. So we drag all the variables to the dependent list. And then since what we want to determine is normality, we click on plots. You can uncheck stem and leaf and histogram, no need for this unless you're, you want to see the stem and leaf and the histogram. We just check on normality plots with tests and click on continue and click on OK. Now, um, in this video, we are particularly interested with the test of normality. So as we can see, we have here the Colmorgan of Smirnov test and the Shapiro-Will test. Okay, these are tests of normality. We use the Shapiro Wilk when we are dealing with a sample size that is small, meaning um, less than 50. But if the sample size is greater than 50, we use the Kolmorgorov Smirnov test. Um, but in both tests, the interpretation is like this. If, if the if the p-value is less than 0 0.05, just like these values, if it's less than 0 0.05, meaning the assumption of normality was violated. It means that the data is not normal. The data is skewed. But if the p-value is greater than 0 0.05, it means that the data set is normal. But, but as we can see here, the p-values are less than 0 0.05 for all variables, meaning the assumption of normality was violated, which could mean that um, the results of the Pearson R correlation may not be totally accurate and caution must be exercised when interpreting the results.